welcome to my channel. I am Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. If you are new, welcome. Thanks so much for watching. If you are not new, welcome back. I really appreciate all of you. In today's video, I have an unboxing from Diamond Art Club, and I went ahead and um, unboxed this just so I could get it out of the box and to get it um, organized to where I like how it's going to look on camera. This one is such a large one that I wanted to make sure that um, I could see it well. And this one is a new one that Diamond Art Club came out with a couple from a couple of weeks ago. And it is called Starstruck Maine Coon Cat by Peggy Collins. And that is what it looks like. It is going to be really pretty. I love cats. I have a black cat. And I saw this and knew that I just had to get this. And it is a square diamond painting, as you can see from the square here. And it is obviously from Diamond Art Club because it says that it is. And it's a Diamond Art Club box. So I want to show you what this looks like. But first, I want to go over the toolkit. This one did come with a new toolkit. And... I don't know if Diamond Art Club still has the old toolkit circulating, but both toolkits are fine. This toolkit just has a few more or a couple more items in it and upgrades than the other toolkit, the older one, but either one works. Let me get everything out of here. Okay. So we have a bow to tray. It also has a stopper, which is really nice. I like these little trays. I like how they're upgraded. They work really good. And we also have a heart wax here. There's two of them. If you use this wax, make sure that you do take the plastic off or you will not be able to load your pin. They also now give you a roll of washi. This is really pretty. And I think that's gonna go really well with this canvas. I don't know if they just randomly put washi in or if it actually goes with it. I'm assuming it's random. You have a squishy, you have a pin with um, a single placer. You also have a four placer here and a seven placer. And I like these because they are thinner. They give you some extra baggies as well as tweezers. And these are the sharp pointy kind. And then one of the extras that they give you is a cover minder. And this one is a little pink bear, really cute. I think they have some new cover minders um, that they've added. Um, I don't I have not got seen the bear before. I haven't gotten it yet. And if you're not sure what a cover minder is, um, usually since these are small, they're just you know really. I just use them because they're really cute. But you can use it to keep your cover, the clear cover, pulled back on your kit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this over so you can see it. But this one is pretty. I just love this one. I love all the colors that's going to be in here. Um, it is a large one. I didn't tell you the size. Um, it is 38, um, 38, 38.6 inch by 26.6 inch or 98 centimeters by 65 centimeters. And the reason why I really like Diamond Art Club, well, there are several reasons, but one of the reasons is that they do have licensed work. So in other words, Peggy Collins um, does get um, reimbursed um, for her work. And so that's really important to me. At the top of Diamond Art Club, it always says, do what makes you sparkle. And then also we have on both sides, we're going to have on the top left and the bottom right is going to have your schematic. And there are 30 colors with two ABs in here. And when I first saw this um, on their, their website, I wasn't sure about it because I wasn't sure if the colors would be really dark, but I decided I just had to go ahead and get it. And I'm so glad that I did um, because when I, um, the colors on here are going to be very bright, vibrant. If you do purchase from Diamond Art Club, they're going to have 10% off 
And on the next order, it's on the bottom of the canvas. It's also on the box, as well as on the instruction sheet, which is here. I don't ever look at the instruction sheet because I don't really need it. Um, also, if you are new and have not purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I do have a discount code. I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club, so if you are new and you use that link, then you will receive a discount. And if you're not new, if you could use that link, I may receive um, a small commission on that. I'm not trying to sell anything. I just want everybody to actually save some money. And you can actually um, look online and find an even higher percentage sometimes. So definitely check that out before you pay full price. I always like to save uh, my subscribers as much money as I possibly can. Um, because of course I'm always looking for deals. I always like to save money myself. This is very sticky. Um, it is you know, known for Diamond Art Club. The rendering is really good. I don't see any problems with this. I can see this just fine without um, my light pad. Um, there's also some color blocking in here. I think this is gonna go fast even though it's a large painting. And there is going to be some confetti in here, um, but I can see quite a bit of color blocking, especially like in the fur on this side here. And then also over here and in the whiskers, there's gonna be some color blocking. And if you're not familiar with that is, um, color blocking is where there is quite a bit of color or the same amount of color in a small area. And um, if you look at confetti, that's where you have several different colors in a small area. So like here, this is going to be 310 on the cat's nose. And so all of those are the same symbol. So that's going to be color blocking. And then if you go over here, that's going to be some color blocking. It's also going to be um, some actual confetti here because there's some ones, there's a slash, there's a small little um, dot there. So um, I don't think it's going to be that bad, but it's going to be very colorful and I'm really looking forward to working on this one. And this is what it looks like completed. This is the um, larger schematic that you have um, thumbnail. And I will use the, these to kit up. They are already um, cut for you. All I have to do is just put them on my container. And so that is going to be really nice as well. In addition to that thumbnail, there's also this small sticker here. And I um, was putting this sticker on my log books, but I like to put them on the outside of the box because I have so many that when I go to pull it, then if I know what I wanna work on or I, I'm not sure, I can look at that and see and don't have to open all the boxes to try to figure out um, which one I want to work on. With the ABs, I want to pull those out. This one is 101, and it is a really pretty blue. And if you're not familiar with ABs, this is Aurora Borealis. It has more of a shine and a shimmer than the other ones, and it does help um, with um, having a shine and shimmer around um, those as well. So with the ABs, we're gonna see ABs in the eye of the um, cat, as well as on the nose here. There's gonna be ABs all in the whiskers, this blue here. And then that's gonna be um, AB 101 there, which is this blue. And you've got some blue down here, and then also some other blue down in this part of the fur. I'm going to also um, add some ABs. I'm not sure which ones that I'm going to add, but I'm going to look at this um, before I decide to start on it and order some additional ABs and specials. I think the quad cubes will look really nice in the eye as well. We also have two bags of 141, and this is the white. And so that's going to be number two. That's going to be throughout the whiskers here. And there's quite a bit because there's two bags. So all of the whiskers is going to have, on the small part of the whiskers here, it is going to have ABs. All down through here will be um, the white AB as well as here and some over here. 
So there's going to be um, quite a bit of ABs just scattered throughout. I think some of the the darker blues might be pretty for the top um, AB or even perhaps um, in the, not in the, I don't want to do the nose, but more so in the eye. Uh, maybe some more ABs there just to bling out the eye. And then maybe um, some gray so I'll just, or some browns. I have to look and see um, when I do really take a close look at this to see what I want to do, but I know I want to add some more ABs. This is all the colors, and you can see there's a lot of browns in here. There's a lot of black. There's quite a bit of um, black 310. I don't want to take all of these out because I have the hardest time putting these back in. Um, <laughs> but that's why I went ahead and pulled out the ABs. I think you'd be more interested in the ABs and just seeing all these colors. But as you can see, there's, the colors are going to be dark. But um, they're also going to um, look really nice with all these browns that's in here. So I'm definitely going to put this one at the top because I just can't wait to work on it. I said it on all of mine, but definitely on this one because I love cats so much since I do have a black cat. And I don't think I will get to this this year unless I just um, happen to get to it in December. But I'm definitely going to put this at the top of my list either in January or February that I want to do. But I wanted to just do an overview of this one because it is so, so pretty. And um, I think that this one is still out there. If you, And I will have the link to that in case you are interested. But I'm going to do an overview and then I will be back. is going to look beautiful whenever it is done and I hope that you have time to get some um, diamond painting or crafting in as well and until next time guys keep on crafting bye